When I saw you, my heart pounded like it was about to explode. Looking at you made me smile uncontrollably. And as I tried to come close to you, I felt the chill on my skin. My body reacted to the melting of my emotions and I thought to myself, this should be love. But the thought of approaching you scared me since I have this deep fear that you may reject me. Despite my pain, I tried to be persistent and eventually you submitted and I'm now happy again. You are now mine. This is what I wished and wanted after all. I pictured you as my wife and the children we could have. Our first meeting was magical because I had plenty to be special. I remember holding you in my arms and even though I pretended to be strong, my heart was racing so fast that I almost passed out when we tried to kiss. I swear, I thought I was going to die, but I kept my cool and everything went smooth. This made me even happier since I was now confident that we had a bright future ahead of us. Feeling like a king every day and wanting to see you often kept me going and created a day to look forward to. But as days passed, the number of times we spent together gradually decreased as you began to make excuses about how busy you were or why you couldn't see me. For this excessive love, I believed everything. But over time, I began to notice and pay attention to details I previously neglected. I observed a drop in your energy. I noticed you simply didn't care. I realized I needed to spend on you to keep you happy even if it meant I was going to be hungry. And alternatively, I noticed you spending a lot of time on your phone chatting. Despite the fact that all this was clear, I opted to maintain a vision of something greater. And as a result, I continued to keep myself happy being in a relationship with you. But remember, the reality never altered. And it continued to the point where I thought you didn't love me as much as I did. But I continued to be your love slave because I love you. But now it was even more clear as it was now all about you whenever it was to your benefit or whenever you felt like it, just out of mercy. I kept living this way even though I see, feel, and know in my heart that you didn't love me. I kept going because to me, you are my true love. But this never changed. And I'm still holding on to you as I pray to God every day, hoping for the best, all asking God to assist me out of this as I'm powerless and draining psychologically, physically, and emotionally.